Well, it's been a while since I put a video out. And uh, there's a reason for that. It's because I have a bad back and I've been nursing it along for a while now. And then, uh, but I'm finally getting a little better. I've been out here spending some more time. My garage, AKA shop, is a disaster area. Um, got the compressor, check the compressor out. This is that compressor that came with that, with the trailer, the mobile machine shop trailer that I bought. And uh, I, it has a three phase motor on it. I took that motor off because I'm gonna convert it to single phase. But here's a little half a horsepower motor I got on it. And this thing just starts right up. Now, it's got no power to compress any air, so I can't really use it, but it works. And that's, that's what I wanted to check out. Um, there's the big Wilton vise. I finally got that bad boy mounted and it is huge. I had to put a steel plate underneath my plywood workbench, which I'm thinking I'm going to have to replace the whole top with a piece of steel, probably half inch steel. And, uh, that'd be great once I do that. As you can see, it is covered with tooling and tools. Um, got this moved down. Got to move all this crap out of here. Uh, it's got to go somewhere. I've got to find somebody who wants a couple of free South Bend. One's a South Bend and one's an Atlas lathe beds. They look like they're about three and a half feet long, four feet long. I don't know. Yeah, but I got this running. This runs, of course. This has always ran. Got that running. This runs great with less than a thousand, a thousandths of run out on the, on the spindle shaft with a number two Morris taper. I'm still working on getting this running. I need a new switch for it, and I need my 10 horsepower VFD to run that big, humongous, I don't know if you can see it, 10 horsepower motor down there. It is absolutely god awful heavy. So I got that. Okay, um, everything else works. You know, it came with all this. I need a good steady rest, but this is the extended height adapter for the steady rest so i got that that's a big plus when this took a header it sheared off all the pins on the inside of here so i've been having to replace those pins i don't know if you can see that there's a pinhole right there so i've been having to replace all those pins sorry i'm doing this with my phone i hate it when people do that and i'm sorry for doing it to you but i completely understand it now so i had to replace that pin this pin here on this one on that shaft had to replace that pin and then I had to replace this pin on this shaft here but I got it done got to fill her up with oil I got to put oil on it yet and it takes five gallons <laughs> and then I got to do the gearbox which takes another two gallons so I got to get some oil but I'm getting very close I'm taking my time. I'm doing it right. I measured the through hole yesterday, and that is a three and a quarter inch through hole spindle. There you go. I'm screwing that up, but you get my point. This is my electrical contactor box, which I am working on. And it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The biggest problem was, was I had to kind of take it apart to get it in because I didn't want to have to rewire everything. And uh, it's come along. Now, with the VFD, I'm just going to wire this one up because it's the only one that's going to run this. And I'm going to use this wire here, which is a nice copper wire. And I've got, I don't know, probably 40 feet of it. So I'm going to use that because I'm cheap and I have it. So there you go. Now, here is the, <clears throat> that's the big giant, let's spin a 350 Chevy faceplate that's got awful, got to be 27 inches, I think it is. Yeah, 27 inches, 26 or 27 inches. So that's that. Oops, sorry about the. The buzzing around. I'll try to edit that out. 
I usually don't edit my videos. I usually just post them up and say here, it is what it is. But uh, there we go. So we got that. Got to replace the handle on this. It, it got busted off in the move. Because, oh my God, this thing is heavy. Uh, there's the taper attachment. Got to make one part for it to put it back on. And, it, and then it's ready to go. Put it on. There's my half-ass gantry crane. It's ugly, but you know what? It works. And yes, it's bow-legged. It's bow-legged like I am. But uh, the trailers, come on, finally. Move my flagpole out front. I'm very happy with that. I am smacked happy with it. Because the city hasn't complained. And they've complained about everything I've done so far. They complained about the noise. They complained about the, well, everything. But you know what? Screw them. No, not really screw them. If you're the city of Mansfield, Texas, I love you guys. You're the best. <laughs> you guys are the best. All right. So I got the big 10-inch Dayton mounted. I made a I made a uh, thing for that, a stand. I made it so it was below the shelf, but above the other one, above the little one. So it all works out. There's lights everywhere. So I got that set up. This stuff has got to go. It's mostly all scrap metal and steel parts and things that have to be fixed and set up and gone through. There's another welder. There's vices and that and everything. So now I made a score the other day and I got this bit here and then this is the finish it leaves on things because I was having a hard time cutting a piece of, of, of hardened steel. So that's got two carbide ends on it, two carbide teeth on it. And it, it does a fantastic job. I'm just gobsmacked at the job it does. I'm really happy with that. I got them for, I think I paid five bucks for those. And I got two of them, so that was 10 bucks. I also got, uh, I got what I call disposable face plates. Now, they're not ground, but they are, they're not ground, but they're, they're uh, flat, you know, they're, they're vertical, they're 90 degrees, they're definitely 90 degrees, but they're mild steel, and so I call them disposable, I got these for five bucks a piece, I bought five of those, so that was $30, but that's not the best thing, so I, I'm a big fan of high speed steel, but the problem is I got that big giant humongous beast over there, and to try to cut anything on that with a small piece of high speed steel, well, you're just kind of beating your head against the wall. So I ended up with these. And the same place I bought those bits, I, this here's another one. Comes already, comes pre-wrapped and everything. Or in the in the wax seals. I got these here. So I got all of these. I got all this. The high-speed steel, those bits, the, the little disposable angle plates. You know, so you can set them up for a job and, you know, if you still have them, that's good. If you still don't, that's, that's fine too. So I got those. And then I bought this big group of high-speed steel, which, again, I got a piece of 7-inch by 1-inch Rex. Where is that? No, that's Momax Cobalt. I don't know if you can see that. It's Momax Cobalt. This is... No name, you know that it's been ground off. This is more Momax high speed steel, three quarter by one inch by six inches. Uh, I got this thing here, which is this was a specific job, you can see the job number on there. But we don't have a lot of machine places around here in Fort Worth. Oh, this is looks like Firth or Earth. Sterling Circle C, never heard of it, but it's a nice big old chunk. This is more Momax, I think. No, this is Rex AA that somebody ground into a real nice part off tool, parting tool. You know, so I'm, I'm keeping that, you know. But uh, it's just, I'm, this is more Momax. Well, I think I said that already. But. So I got all that. I got those five face plates. I got these, I got two of these bits. I got these two here and this 
and the five disposable uh, angle plates, the five disposable little angle plates for a hundred bucks, man. I, I, you know, you can't beat that. So, and I think I'm missing something else too. I think I got something else too, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But, uh, you know, I wasn't looking for any of this. I was actually there looking for a piece of roughing end mill and to see if they had anything else. And this guy is, he just, he buys surplus stuff from the military and the, whatever and he's got some machines there and all that but uh i'm fixing to get a whole setup to go together and show you everything i got tooling wise out of this trailer because i got a lot i mean i got a lot i got that big monster over there i got tons and tons of bits i got these here i think i've showed you those already there's another uh, face plate there's another there's two more face plates in there there's I got a, basically what's a two, uh, do more tool post two, two. That's two do do more tool post grinders. All these bits here. Uh, there's more up in here. There's more here somewhere. Uh, lots of reamers and and bits like that. And, uh, just tons of stuff. I mean. Yeah, all these here, and I'm a, I did not mean to, but you know, everybody collects things, and so I'm, I'm apparently collecting the Williamson wrenches because this thing is just chock full of them, and I really never meant to start collecting them, you know, but it, it just kind of fell on my lap here because it's got, the, I mean, I've never seen that, that's a factory bent one. I have no idea what the hell that's for. Guess I gotta pull it out a little bit. Uh, that is, I think, for this. Yeah, yeah, that's for that. Yeah. Uh, just wrench after wrench after wrench after wrench. So if you're looking for a specific Williams or or wrench that goes in the crash or whatever. And we can work out a trade because what's that one say? Air mount made in USA, seven eighths. But I think that says Williamson right there. Made in USA. That's for here's another one made in USA, Williamson. We got lights. Well, I guess that's it. I'm pretty much done. That's 13 minutes, and uh, you know, it is what it is. Sorry about the shakiness. Sorry about everything else, but you guys have a good one. Merry Christmas, in case I don't see you again. I'm going to try to get another video out as soon as I get that running. I had to give up my plates. Somebody stole my plates, so Texas gun guy on the plates is no more. My wife wanted her handicap back, really, is what it came down to. And then, uh, But that's it. As soon as I get this piece running, I'm going to make some more videos. I've got a whole bunch of things planned for this thing. Uh, I was telling somebody I, I want to make a black powder breech loading 105 millimeter cannon. I've got to get some paperwork from the ATF. But that is my plan for this thing. And the barrel is going to be three feet long. Now, since it's breech loading and it's black powder, I can't rifle it, I don't think. So, but either way, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to try it, see what happens. And, uh, well, like I said, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, be safe, and uh, hug your loved ones. And thanks for following, thanks for subscribing, and just thank you. Bye.